and welcome to Bula Beats. I'm your host Chantel Chant. This is your show, the one you asked for, so here we are to deliver. We are broadcasting from the ancestral traditional territories of the Squamish, Katsi, Silvertooth, and Mosqueam Nation. We are grateful for the first peoples of this land that allow us to live, flourish, laugh, and grow. Bula Beats will bring to our viewers cooking segments, community events, interviews, cultural celebrations, and sports like rugby, soccer, and baseball. No show is complete without your support from our sponsors. If you are a person in business and want to promote your business on Rogers in partnership with Shaw, this is your opportunity to profile your business. I'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Do you want to buy your dream home or buy your money from your home or buy your kitchen or renovate your home? But the banks have told you. You can call me or call me. I am an independent mortgage broker who has a lot of credit unions and private lenders. For more information, please call Vic Prasad at 604-566-5500. That's 604-566-5500. Call Vic Prasad at 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 604-566-5500. Vic Prasad is one of the top brokers of Invis Craft Mortgages and is also a member of the Canadian Mortgage and Brokers Association of BC. For any kind of visa-related services, contact Milky Way Immigration, a galaxy of opportunities located at Unit 209-9547-152 Street, Surrey, BC. They have licensed immigration consultants, placement officers, and LMIA experts to meet your immigration and recruitment needs. Book one-time free consultation either on Facebook or by calling 604-396-0005. United Pellets and Crates is located at 11585-134 Street in Surrey, BC. Give Sam Dooler a call at 604-760-2028 or call the office number at 604-634-2001. You can also visit the website which is www.unitedpelletsandcrates.com or send us email at info at pelletsandcrates.com. April is Daffodil Month. Every three minutes, someone in Canada hears the words, you have cancer and their life changes forever. But there is hope in your donation this Daffodil Month, and it will fund world-leading research and support that will change our future. Donate now to make someone's life better and transform the future of cancer. Buy daffodils and donate. We are on Bula Beats TV. Welcome to Bula Beats. And my guest today is Rizwan Abbas, and he's an archaeologist, works with the First Nations in here, and he's here to talk about Girmitia Day. Okay, welcome. Thank you, Kamala. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So we're going to talk about a little bit about yourself. You work with First Nations. Yes. Um, I've been an archaeologist in British Columbia now for about 25 years. Okay. And I'm currently the, uh, I, well, an archaeologist with uh, Semiamu First Nation, and uh, I work with uh, within their traditional territory. Excellent. So thank you for uh, being one of our people, be able to work with, because we want to build that link and a relationship with our First Nation, First People of this land. So let's talk a little bit about there is something else you are doing, and that is doing Girmitia Day. That's going to be history making itself. So to talk, uh, give a little bit of background and talk about that event. Sure. Um, uh, in con along with being an archaeologist with Semiamu First Nation, I'm also one of the directors of the Indo-Fijian Cultural Society of Canada, along with, uh, with uh, Ms. Camilla as well. And uh, one of the uh, initiatives that we started last year, along with the uh, No Ties uh, 1879 podcast, was Girmitia Day. Um, we did the first ever Garmitia Day in, uh, in the world, as far as we know, in, uh, in Surrey at the Clayton Community Center. And uh, this year we're doing it again. Um, this year uh, we'll be, uh, the Indo-Fijian Cultural Society of Canada is hosting uh, Garmitia Day on May 14th of 2024 at the uh, Surrey Public Library at the uh, fourth floor in the multi-purpose room there. And um, one of the questions that I've received a lot about um, Garmitia Day is what is Garmitia Day? Um, traditionally, Girmit Day is what's uh, celebrated in Fiji as uh, May 14th. That's marking the uh, first day that the Indians arrived from India to Fiji to, uh, to become uh, indentured laborers. But um, a couple of years ago, the, um, Prime the, the, Prime, the, the Prime Minister at the time of Fiji uh, was talking on stage on, on Girmit Day, and he was talking about Girmit celebrations and talking about celebrating Girmit. And uh, it struck me, uh, struck a chord with me, Camilla. Um, it was. It got me thinking about girmit, and you and I know that girmit is. Uh, it's another word for indentured labor coming yeah. from the word yeah. agreement. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I came to thinking about like what is there to celebrate 
about Girmit. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to celebrate about Girmit if you know the history yeah. of uh, yeah. what uh, Girmit did to our people. But the Girmitias themselves, they are someone that we can celebrate. Yes. Um, the resiliency of Girmitias, the work ethic of the Girmitias, the ability of them to overcome all of their obstacles to, to, to have us be where we are today yeah. Yeah. is something worth celebrating. It's something worth honoring. Um, it's something worth remembering. So similar to how we celebrate, or sorry, how we observe uh, Remembrance Day here yeah. in Canada, we decided to come across with Germitia Day as a similar kind of observation of our ancestors and our people. Yeah. So uh, it's more of a uh, it's more of a solemn day where we uh, we we talk about colonization basically. Yeah. Uh, we talk about what the colonizers did to our people. We talk about how our people strived and survived that and why we are here today. Mm -hmm. um, if you think about it, I mean, if your grandfather saw you or if my great-grandfather saw me here in Canada as an archaeologist uh, working with the First Nations, they must be very proud of where we are. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. so, so that's something that, uh, that we want to, to celebrate about our people. Yeah. Um, it's kind of, the, the idea here is to decolonize the culture, yeah. is, to, is to look at the day from our point of view telling our stories about our people yeah. and that's something that we will be celebrating on May the 14th of 2024 coming up in a, just over a month now or yeah. just under mm -hmm. a month uh, and uh, it will be at the city center uh, library and we welcome everybody to, to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come and learn about what it is and I know a lot of people we also know a little bit but I think if we don't talk about it right. it's gonna be forgotten. Yes, yes. Um, but, you okay. know so I think it's important that any history, our roots, we can never forget where we come from. Yes. Because if we don't do this at this age, you have children, I have children, I'm even grandmother too. How would my children or their kids know what the parents have been through right. or my generation has been through? Yeah. We are really blessed to be living in Canada today yes. that we all are equal, but it was not so for our an ancestors, yeah. right? Because Girmit was never taught in the schools in no. Fiji. Um, Girmit was never taught to my parents. Girmit was never taught to me. Girmit was never taught to my kids because they were in Canada now. So it's up to us to talk about what happened to our people. Um, I always like to say that if uh, history is written by the victors, then there comes a point in society where the victims themselves begin to write their own history. Yeah. You may not like it. It may make you uncomfortable, yes. but it's our truth nonetheless. Yeah. And that's where we are now. We're, we're, we're writing our own truths. We're decolonizing our culture, and we're reclaiming the narrative and talking about our people using our stories and our ideas mm -hmm. and our words. And this is one of those things. Just exactly like what First Nations are doing, yes. fighting back and yes. fighting back the land. And they have us, I mean, they want to put their experience out. They want to speak about it. Mm -hmm because they've been shut down for so long. Yes. But they are getting that power back to tell their own story from their own mouth, yeah. not reading somewhere or not hearing something else. Yeah. And we are doing the same thing. Yes. I've, I've been an archaeologist working with First Nations throughout British Columbia for about 25 years now. Yeah. And <clears throat> excuse me, when I first started in the, uh, in the industry, I thought to myself that the First Nations needed my help. They yeah. needed me to be there to help record their stories, to tell their history, um, to preserve their history. And it took me about 20 years to realize that they didn't need my help at all. No. They are doing just fine by themselves. They tell their stories. They have their life ways. Their family traditions keep going. Yeah. And it, it, it took me about that long to come to realizations of how the indigenous people here in Canada, in British Columbia specifically, have been reclaiming their culture yeah. and have been reclaiming their history and been taking their own stories and, and working in their own communities to, to increase the awareness of their own people. And inspired from that yeah. is how I came about to step out of my archaeology framework yeah. to go into, into more of a cultural uh, historian framework yeah. and to work with our, our people to do the same thing. And, uh, and I, I feel like it's a, it's a small step but it takes time to get there. But the more awareness that we have, the more self-awareness we have, the more pride we have in ourselves as a people will make us, uh, make us more stronger as, as a collective group. Yes, very well said. And I think the story needs to be told. Yes. The sacrifice people need to hear. Yes. If we don't, if we just shut up here, our children will never know yeah. that what have our people suffered. And I think 
the best way we can tell the story is the people that have experienced that. We are not the ones that did it, but we are carrying their voice forward, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And these, there's a lot of generational trauma that our culture has to deal with yes. still. Yes. That stems directly from the Sardars and the way they treated yeah. our Ganamitya ancestors and the way they treated their children, the way they treated their children, and the way I was treated. Yeah. And it's something that we need to talk about. We yeah. need to come we need to come to, to, to shed light on these things so we can fix them. So we can we don't have to be ashamed of it. No. We don't have to be shy about it and hide who we are because this is the we are the way we are because of the sacrifices of our, our ancestors and because of the Gitamitias. Yeah. And we have to identify both the good and the bad to make ourselves a better collective of people. Mm. Where is it taking place? It's taking place at the City Centre Library in uh, Surrey Central. So it's the uh, library right beside... Uh, yeah, City, City, City Centre. Surrey Central. Yeah. yeah. And it's from 5.30 till 8.30 in the evening. And we want to make sure that we do it on the day off. Not wait till the weekend or something, because the, nothing waited until the weekend. So we have to do it. Just like Remembrance Day, 11th of November, doesn't matter which day of the week, we still observe Remembrance Day. We're going to make sure Girmitya Day is on May 14th, from 5.30 till 8.30. And your number? Um, you can reach me at uh, my phone number, 778-323-5498. And if you have any questions about uh, Gurmitya Day or if you would like to help or volunteer, we're more than welcome, well, more than happy to welcome you there. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, what it's going to be about or, or any about the venue itself, yeah, feel free to call me. We would love to see everybody there and uh, to support not just our community, but to, to give support to our ancestors as well. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have your pen and paper ready. Here are some events that you would like to participate in. Soft Community Services Hub, a nonprofit organization offering wraparound services for individuals and families. They are doing their first annual fundraising gala on April 26th at 6 p.m. at Crown Place Banquet Hall. For tickets and more information, please visit their website www.sachbc.ca events. Dementia touches many of us, family, friends, community members, colleagues, or even yourself. No one should have to face the disease alone and make a difference by registering for the IG Wealth Management Walk for Alzheimer's. Registrations are at alzbc.org walk. This walk is taking place on May 28th, IG Walk for Alzheimer's. Touching Lives Foundation is doing a Mother's Day pancake breakfast at St. Mary's Parish at 5251 Joy Street in Vancouver. This will be from 9.30 until 11.30 a.m. Proceeds will go towards the Convent House in Vancouver. For more information, please call Josie at 778-892-7388 or Nira at 604-603-4684. If you have any events that are taking place and you would like us to promote your events, please send us all the information at asianpulse at gmail.com. Good evening, everyone. This is the host, uh, DJ Sam. Uh, I'm live here at uh, Taj Park Convention. And uh, here we are ha having a food, a, a fundraising uh, event, and actually this is uh, uh, in conjunction with Fijian in Focus and Bula Beats. Yes, let me see the names here. Fijian in Focus and Bula Beats are organizing a a uh, a food fundraising and uh, in conjunction with sorry food bank. So. This is a deny dance right here at the Taj Convention Park. So if you guys are home and you have, if you guys are planning to go somewhere and want to do something, do come down to Taj Park Convention. There's still some tickets available and the tickets are only $50 per person. And uh, it's nicely set up, a uh, nice hall uh, and there's some wines to take away for like $10. DJ Salan is in the DJ, so you can't go wrong. There is lots of um, events happening here today. It's a jam-packed uh, program. So if you guys are home and uh, watching this uh, and want to come and enjoy, do come down to Taj Convention Park. And this is the corner of uh, 132nd 88. It's only $50 per person. And there's still lots of tickets left. So if you guys want to come down, you can come down and check it out. It's a, um, it's a first annual charity uh, on behalf of Surrey Food Bank. 
So again, focus in uh, Fiji Focus and Bula Beats in conjunction with Angel Music Production. So there is going to be Mike and uh, his team singing, dancing. There is a jam packed uh, fishing show and lots of other things happening here today. So again, come down to uh, Bula Beats. I'm going to uh, come down to uh, Paj, Taj Park. So I'm going to swing around and you guys can see that it's, it's setting up right now. And uh, it's just getting started. So uh, come down, there's still lots of tickets left. I see Mr. Sam in the house. So uh, yes, this is what's happening. And of course Kamila is also there busy with him, Sushil is there. So the whole top guns are here. Come down and uh, enjoy a night of evening. So again, it's only 10, it's only $50. And uh, let's bring us home. Hunger is not and seasonal. Bring one. I got Kamila Ji uh, over here too. Kamila Ji, uh, I guess I can bring you and have a little talk while we are uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Come on, come on. You are live. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. So we're actually live on camera right now. So this is the person behind the music. So Kamila Ji, this was all your idea, all your vision, and it's happening right now. And we want to just see people who are watching us live. Uh, uh, if they, if you still have tickets available. Yeah. Yeah. And it's only fifty dollars. Yeah. Come down and enjoy this uh, great event today, right? So again, I was just reading this, help bring us hope, um, and help us bring us hope. Hang guys, not a season, right? Yeah. yeah this so is so the great. reason that we chose the charity, because I take my women to the food bank, and I know how desperate the women are, or not women, people who are on limited income. Okay. So th that was the reason and my passion behind it. If I want to do the next fundraising, I want to give it to, to a charity. I okay. put a, I put a but I chose the Seri Food Bank okay. because there are so many food banks. They save about 70,000 hampers a month. Wow. 70,000. And 24% of them are children. Okay. Yeah. That's so good. for that reason, our charity and we still have tickets available. Okay. Please come down. Yeah. This is not here to make money or anything. No. We are just here to raise funds for the Seri Food Bank. Okay. So if you are watching it, great cost do come down you can't go wrong there's still time the main event uh, the program starts from 6 p.m grand Taj corner of 88 and 132nd you can't go wrong come and see camilla g she's around and thank you and one thing more i want to say i want to thank prince radio because you. any event i have done in the past and any time i ask for you to come over and do the coverage you come and i know this is Yes, yes. Mubarak, thank and you, this thank is the time people you go visit families and all that. Yes. But you have given everything up to be able to come in here. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah. Yeah. You're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, we always, yeah, I'm always with the community too, so I'm always a little bit helpful with the long way. Right? So those of you are watching us live and listening to us on our web radio too, yeah. it's connected to our radio. Yeah. Uh, if you're listening to us, do come down. You can call me or you can call Camila G or yeah. you can just come down to the gate. You yeah. can go wrong. And we still have tickets. We still have tickets. Yeah. I, I saw wine there for $10. Yeah. What's a bottle yeah. of wine? Oh yeah, a bottle of wine. Yeah. And we are giving it away for $10 and there are 70 bottles somebody donated. Wow. So Thank you so much, Thank you so much for coming out. Yeah. So there it is. 
from Kamila Ji. Thank you so much. So again, guys, come down right here at the Dodge Park Convention, right at the corner of uh, 88 and 132nd. Again, the people are coming in, they're pouring in. Uh, there are lots of people around me, so I'll, I'll sing around one more time, and then you can see guys see. Hello, sir. How are you? You can come and join us. We are live actually. Uh, no? Yeah, we are live on, on the radio. So you decided to come down today to, to show support for this uh, great event? Oh, or fix the fundraising as we know, like yesterday we were there. Mm -hmm. at the yeah, yeah, all, huh? Okay. So today is the... I don't know what's the subject here today, what they're going to discuss. Nobody asked me. Okay. So like uh, we are very happy to... The first of all, we should be happy we we'll get together all the time. No? That's yeah. the main part, all the public. Like other community has come in too today. Yeah. So we are very proud. Uh, and, uh, I don't know what's, a, what's the issue today, what's the topic to be discussed, you know? Yeah. So anyway, we are proud and uh, we, we hope we're going to enjoy tonight very much. Yeah, that's good. I think uh, entertainment is jam packed, so make sure you have your dancing shoes on. So Oh, yeah, we will. We'll do it if we have a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know that will be happen. That will, that will happen, right? So, so there you go. That, that's the thing we are for now. Because every place you go, any parties, any entertainment, all start without drinks. Without drinks, yeah. 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 That's the policy people sitting like a wet, wet chicken, you know. <laughs> anyway, so, so there you go. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we'll catch you later. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate we'll, we'll it. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, likewise. Can't go wrong with you, now, Mr. MC. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I welcome you all. Jitni ki log ghar par hai, aaj nahi aap aaye hai. So those of you watching at home, this is our first charity event for uh, Surrey Food Bank. We are doing here, and uh, Dreams uh, Radio is uh, with us. Exclusive uh, interviews and uh, coverage, live coverage you'll be seeing from here. So be with us. Bane rahe mare saath pure raat bhar. Hum aapke saath rahenge. Aur behtarin behtarin dance program mein jaldi bhi hoga. Very good. And thank you for doing this good cause, man. It's a, it's of course for the food bank, so why not we come out and support, thank right? Thank you very much. Really yeah, appreciate it's, it's, it's a good cause, and that's why we are also here. We always where the community is. We are always around okay. there. Thanks, great. So thank you. you. Looking forward to you. Take care, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So there is our Mr. MC. <laughs> thank you. Let's swing by to our busy stuff right here. Let's see. And this is our our dashing boy, <laughs> Mr. Mike. How are you? <laughs> yes, nice to see you. If you guys are ready to see his performance, come down at Taj Park today. To see him rocking the dance floor. Why not? Look at him flashing. <laughs> Thank you, Rahul. Thank you so much. <laughs> and of course, can't forget our our Kushiji. Uh, Kushiji, welcome to Dreams. You are. Uh, I see you are very busy. So again, it's again the question is it's for a good cause, right? That's why you all are here today, right? And for all our viewers and listeners, you just wanted to tell them to come down and support this good cause. That's yes. the whole message. Come down to Taj Banquet Hall, and it is on one thirty second and eighty eight, eighty eight, eighty five, eighty five, yeah, in the corner. So come yeah. down here, and we will greet you nicely. Yeah. If you haven't bought the ticket, we have some tickets left. You have some tickets there, right? Some yeah. Tickets. So come okay. quickly. We might be out of it because people are coming in. Yeah. So yeah, do come and support. And if you can bring an item of a perishable item, do bring it for the food bank. Yeah. Oh, you do collecting that today? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay. That's good. Then. That's actually yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. So so, so also a uh, uh, food. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Sounds yeah. good. Very good. Yes. And do come and meet us. Please. Yeah. We'd love to see you guys. There you go. So that's what's happening right here. So again, like you say, non-perishable items. Non-perishable items. We keep people. Oh, okay. I think it's about tax time. So there you go. I think a good way to do tax rebate. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. So again, thank you for working hard behind the scene. And I was saying it takes a lot of army to set up an event like this. Yeah. So you guys are behind the scene. Thank you so much and again. If people want to come in, we still have some tickets available. Yes. Just some really nice, nice. Yes. 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 Yes.
so much fun. There you and go. It's the Nights, so the yes, of course. We'll make it fun. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, yes. we'll, we'll, I want to make sure I catch you guys uh, on the dance floor too. So. Oh yes, yes, we will be there. <laughs> you will be there. <laughs> all right, there you go. Thank you. So That's all the time we have for today. You can watch Bula Beats again on Sunday at 4:30 p.m. Please like and subscribe, and ask your friends and family to watch too. Bula Beats TV brings three other shows: Asian Pulse TV every Wednesday at 2:30 p.m., Thursdays at 8:30 p.m., and Saturdays at 5:30 p.m. Fiji in Focus every Tuesday at 10 p.m., Thursdays at 2:30 p.m., and Sundays at 4 p.m as well as the Camila Singh Talk Show every Monday at 10 a.m., Sundays at 5.30 p.m. All these shows you can also watch in Calgary on Shaw Cablevision. The only difference is it will air an hour late due to time. Before I leave, I will leave you with these thoughts. Always be ready to survive alone. Some people suddenly change. Today you are important to them, and tomorrow you are nothing. And that's real life. Author unknown. Thank you all to came who came to our event for the funds for the Surrey Food Bank. It was nice seeing you and chatting with all of you guys. We'll keep you posted for our next event. Vinaka. Do you want to dream home or you want to take your money from your home or you want to renovate your home but the banks have given you a call. You can call me or I can call you an independent mortgage broker who has given you a lot of credit unions and private lenders. For more information, please call Vic Prasad at 1-800-227-8000 or call Vic Prasad at 604 306 6647 Vic Prasad is one of the top brokers of Invis Craft Mortgages and is also a member of the Canadian Mortgage Brokers Association of BC.